Well, hi guys, and welcome to the first in a series here on Attingham Park in the UK. So, just thought we'd come and uh, sit down by the river here for a little bit. Absolutely gorgeous stretch of river. Um, so yeah, really excited to bring you guys this map. Um, I've been waiting for this to arrive. Um, and I can't wait to get into this map. Um, set not too far from me in real life, so uh, I'm considering it a, lo a local map, which is also pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, I changed... couple of bits of equipment here you actually start with the forage wagon the tedder um, the wind rower and this tractor and a mower um, and you start with the JCB as well but all this equipment is leased um, which is fine you know um, but I went and bought I got a loan and I went and bought the Vermeer TM 1410 mower and I bought a class Axion 800 um, just so we own a couple of things and the mower is obviously bigger and better than the one that we start with. So for today's jobs or job, probably going to be one job. Um, is we need to get this field of grass into rows so we can pick it up with the forage wagon and we can put it in the pit here in the clamp um, and start making some silage so let's jump in the class here And it is pretty hot, so let's open the back window. Because it's a hot summer's day here. Oh, I've still got the mower on. I forgot to detach the mower. That's... Uh, just put the mower here for now. So yeah, for those of you not familiar with this map, it is by GB Modding, um, and it's set in the UK, around Attingham. Um, and yeah, it's a fantastically detailed map. I believe it's from FS19. I didn't actually play it on FS19, so I am new to this map. Um, but I've got to say, it's uh, just the detail and uh, just the work that's gone into this map. You can really see that it's been very well done. So yeah, just uh, like I said, I've been waiting for this map to come out. I've seen people do the, the tours and stuff and uh, just been super excited for this one. I guess it's the first sort of big English map. I mean, Calmston, again, is a great English map, but... In terms of size and scale, I feel that this one is is pretty much perfect for me in terms of size and scale. 
I found Calmston just a little bit too small. But yeah, in this game you start with um, you start with the biogas plant where we just were, and you start with this field. Might just be this field actually. Um, yeah, it was. You start with just this field, all the leased equipment, and the biogas plant so you can only sort of go in one direction when you start this map and that is straight into silage but silaging is is a nice job anyway so it's not too bad and this field is your starting field which is a fairly good size actually for a starting field um, but I went ahead and I got the £500,000 loan um, which enabled me to buy the farm and we'll see where all those blue dots are so I bought um, the farmhouse and field 36 came with that and field 34 as well and I was still had money left over to buy this tractor and a mower and I've still got 177,000 so financially it worked out pretty well and field 34 there it, you can see is grass as well so once we've done this field, I'll be um, growing that grass in there because I'm pretty sure it's not mature. Um, and we can hopefully fill the uh, silo up pretty nicely with two fields worth. missing a bit there do another headland pass here and we should be good to go across the field quite know which way is best really probably coming across here we've got that longest section there so let's start at the top there going across and then work our way down I think Yeah, I will take this opportunity to, guys, to say a massive thank you to anybody who's watching. Really does mean a lot, and uh, if you do like the content, then please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment, subscribe. If you're new here, you know, if, and you like it, then... Uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with content. Uh, 
have as I've said in past videos I don't get a lot of time to to make content uh, I've got a lot of personal stuff going on right now I'm gonna be a dad in November so it's all good stuff but there's a lot of work involved in preparing to look after a human being so it's exciting but I don't get the time that I would like to get to to make these videos and a lot of the time I just feel too too tired to do a video it's uh, bit of laziness as well really but I do work full time and you know we're expecting a baby so definitely feels pretty cool starting a map on silage as well because most of the time when you start a map it's like oh I've got to combine this field you know like pretty much the first job on most maps is harvesting or planting so to actually begin with Silage work is pretty cool. Spices things up a little bit. Well, don't know how long this field is going to take. I could have maybe invested in a bigger windrower actually. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It might throw this field out a little bit though. So I've got 177,000, so. Get to the end of here and we'll have a look at the uh, wind rowers see what kind of money they are as with all farm equipment everything's quite expensive but so let's just stop that there and go into our shop here and wind rowers Currently, we've got that one, which is an 8.4 meter. See, that's 9.7, that's 41,000. Or we've got, is that one? 8.4 meters. I mean, the Vermeer one is nice but it's only 8.5 we've got a 9.7 for 41 I don't think we really want the big one it may be a little bit too big
Hmm. But it's 20 grand. You know, you're talking 20 grand difference. 20 grand for what? Five meters, essentially. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I mean, I would like the class one, but. Can I justify spending 90,000? Hmm. Do you know what, guys? I'm going to do it. Call me a fool, but I am going to buy the class one for 90,000 because it will go with my tractor nicely. Um. We won't worry about changing any of the settings on it. So let's do that. And let's uh, ch -ch -ch. let's return that and. Um, and then we can drive up to the shop. Just got to remember which way I have to go here. I think it's this way. It's a trouble when you've just moved to somewhere new. We've just moved to the area, so still getting the hang of it. At least this way you guys can see some of the map as well if you haven't already seen it. It is a stunning, stunning map. Very scenic. And just typically, typically English. Um, I think it's down this way. Ah. <laughs> No, it's not down that way. I'm guessing we could probably get through down that way, but... It is down this lovely, windy country lane. Twitchy on the stair in there. It's right here. Yeah. <clears throat> nice forest area there. Ooh. Still having problems with my controller when I steer. It likes to turn uh, turn the camera as well, which is a bit weird, but. And this here on the right is Atrium Fishing Club. You see everyone's camping out, having little fishing holidays. Um, we can actually buy this fishing club and make money off it as well, I believe. So that is quite interesting. So people will pay us to come and camp and fish. 
which is cool. just so green and lovely lots and lots of trees really gives it a great atmosphere gorgeous bridge you know everything's just modelled really nicely I've got to, I've got to say it's Just seeing local signs to me, like Ironbridge, Talford, and Shrewsbury. Like, I live not far from each one of these places. I'm in this area, so it's just, uh, it's just cool seeing that on a map. So the shop, if I remember, is down here. Oh, pedestrian, I've got to give way to the pedestrians. Yeah, here we go. Kind of a oaky little shop, but... Uh, pick up our lovely matching windrower beautiful I'm gonna put some beacons on but yeah that's where you spawn in on this map is actually at the hotel here um, which is where you have to sleep I believe did buy the farm we're at now but I didn't see it didn't see the sleep trigger so that's something that I'm going to have to figure out unless any of you guys know if you have to sleep at the hotel I guess the other option is to build like a little um, farmhouse to sleep at Yeah, this is going to make the job so much quicker. And it looks great with this tractor, so... Certainly give us some big swaths to uh, pick up with the forage wagon. traffic seems to uh, travel at a good pace as well which is nice and there's quite a lot of it as well which I kind of like I'm gonna go up this way Uh. 
Don't mind me just bouncing the uh, wind rower across the map. Yeah, this tractor, this particular tractor is one of the class tractors I've actually driven in real life as well, so definitely feels quite familiar. It's down here. Maybe we'll have to redo these lines here. Should be more than wide enough to... That's so cool. Such a cool animation. <laughs> really is. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. should take us less than half the time that it would have with the other one so that's always nice it is great when you work your way up on this game to bigger and better equipment makes the farm more efficient makes jobs a lot easier
Right. It's uh, the best way to approach this, I think. Ah, actually, yeah. I think maybe starting up here and going across the field. If we go across on this kind of angle. I reckon that that will be about right. help if we look to where we were going not really using the machine to its full capacity there I'm just getting distracted by my cat that missed a bit of grass there but that's fine I guess I'd better bring you guys some information because in a couple of my other videos on uh, Stone Valley Farm I do like to give you know an explanation of what things are and why it's done so, and I've just literally thought about maybe something that you guys wouldn't know, and that is why are these rows called wind rows? Um, and basically, it's because you're raking. Like even if this was done by hand, you'd rake stuff into a into a row and let it dry. So obviously, like as well as the sun, the wind has a part to play in drying that material, whatever it may be. Uh, whether it's grass, you know, uh, straw, hay, whatever it is you're essentially raking it into a row to be dried by the wind plus other environmental factors obviously so that is why these rows are called wind rows and of course we're not drying the grass we're just going to silage it and typically silage is made of grass but you can get haylage um, 
and obviously you've got things like chaff as well which is usually chopped up crop um, that's fermented so silage essentially is fermented grass um, which acts as an additional feed for your cattle um, and then in this case we're using that uh, fermentation process to make biogas but yeah the other use is animal feed because it is rich in nutrients and it's got a very very distinct smell like if you've ever smelt silage it's um it's a very distinct smell but wouldn't it's not a horrible smell um it's kind of like a sweet smell obviously because when the grass is fermenting and stuff like all the sugars are kind of acting as well you know so you get like a sweetish smell but you can't yeah you can't really describe it but if you smelt it you know straight away what it is Same with the smell of cut grass. I absolutely love the smell of freshly cut grass. It's got to be one of the best smells. Probably not so good if you've got hay fever. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a good investment for this wind rower. Now I'm kind of going over what I already did with the smaller one, but will help to get the field more uniform just getting away with not um, scraping up against the hedgerow there So definitely going to be bringing some live stream action to this map. Um, and if you guys like watching farming live streaming, then please stay tuned. Hit the notification bell because there's me um, and a few guys that have been getting together you can see the previous live streams on uh, on my channel um, but yeah there's a few of us that get together we've we've been doing some live streaming on uh, Iowa Plains which is Viking Hammers map um, 
but we're gonna sort of start taking it in turns um, and also I'll leave a link to my twitch channel in the description because I'm I've only just started my twitch channel so I'm gonna do some live streaming on there um, hopefully quite regularly and for me I'd, I'd prefer to live stream than record because especially with farming sim because it's one of those games that you know you can only sort of record one job <laughs> like this job you know it's it's taken a good chunk of time and you're always conscious of like videos going on too long so live streaming solves that problem and obviously the other great benefit is you get to interact with your audience as well which is something I enjoy doing I enjoy enjoy that side of it enjoy getting questions if any of you guys have got any questions about farming Right, I think. We are pretty much done. Let's just put that together there. Have a couple of weird little bits there, but that's fine. Fold the back wing up. Definitely glad I invested in that now though, because that's going to really save some time. And we can park it. Hopefully get it in the shed here. With a bit of... A bit of jiggery-pokery. And, uh, oh, we're stuck. We are stuck on there. No. Tell you what we'll do. Put it outside for now. Because we are going to need it again anyway. So let's just put it there for now that was tight right so I'm gonna leave it there guys I know it's kind of been a bit of a long-winded video just to do some wind rowing but um we are just starting out, so things are going to be a bit, uh, a bit samey, samey. So we've got to get this field mature um, and cut and winrow that, so we can bang all of it in the um, clamp over here, get it done, and make some money, and then we can expand into some crops and uh, get some uh, 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 say that again and get some animals but for now guys I will wish you a good day and a good night whatever time you are watching this and uh, yeah like I said I'll leave descriptions descriptions I will leave links in the description to relevant channels and uh, 
to my Twitch channel. Please come and follow me over on that. Um, and like I said, I'll be bringing you live streaming both on this and also Division 2 as well, if that's something you're interested in. And maybe some other games along the way. So yeah, I'll be quiet now and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.